Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today, let's talk about the food, how to make this croissant, and also the cinnamon twist bread. Are you ready? Let's get started. Once a while, I like to uh, model everyday object and just get the practice for different type of surface in Rhino. And I hope this helping you in that way as well. You can also apply that into the jewelry. Of course, you can make it into the charm or something like that. And since this is not gonna go into be print, so um, it's not model in the scale. But if you are printing them, you want to model them into the scale. So first of all, I need to draw a profile from the top view to see what this croissant look like. And I simply just want to making something like that. Uh, you can make them as smooth, as rough, as bumpy for whatever that look right to you. And I also want to draw a line right in the middle somewhere about somewhere about here and kind of a depict it like kind of guessing where the middle line is so somewhere like this 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 and maybe here okay so now i got three lines so this line will need to be split by this one then i got something like that so this line i need them to go up i could have just editing those point one by one to bring them up if that worked for you that's fine you can kind of work it in this way but if you feel like this way is too much of a trouble we can also do the other way by drawing a curve at the front so let's go ahead to draw the curve snapping into this end right here and then I wanted to do like how puffy that you want this croissant to be and it doesn't have to be like so um, regular shape all symmetrical and it's because you know it's it's really organic shape or something like this right something like this so keep adjusting until you find what you like right now we need to have this one follow this one nicely to do a curve from two view but the key of a curve from two view is they both line need to be flat so I will need to project this back to the uh, C plane, which is construction plane, and we need to delete the input. So now we have something like this, right? I got this line and this line here. The next things we want to do the curve from two view, we need to pick up this one and this one, right? So it was snapping back to here. Uh, this one right here double make sure it's snapping back there right um, this one that have like not many point let's take a look on that if we rebuild this one currently it got 13 point and we are okay to keep it the 13 this one we are having 14 and I like to keep it the same number so let's try 13 as well and also the one that we just made uh, I actually want to rebuild them into 13. So let me hide in this one right there. So now we got curve one, two, three. We don't need this one anymore. I'm going to hide in that one as well. Okay, so now I have those. Uh, I can creating the cross section by using the loft. And we're gonna go one, two, three and make sure we close the loft. And as you can see, the bottom is pretty fat there. Um, you can adjust it by turning on the control point and you're gonna notice like there's not really much of the point to edit it there so you can rebuild the surface and getting more point to edit so let's say I'm going to get uh, maybe eight here eight and eight on both sides and then so now I have more point and then on the bottom for this one if you don't want it to be so puffy so let's say whatever below the bottom right here I'm going to uh, scale with the gumball but just type it zero here on the z-axis so they will be completely flat right so you then you will get something like this now it's a little bit pointed there, but it's really up to you if that look okay to you. Uh, if you take a look at the render view, I mean it's pointy but snap into the ground. So um, that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to make the bottom a little bit flat, but this not like completely straight line. You can move in one by one, or we are going to do this way. I'm going to create in the cross section here. 
and let's go ahead to using the command for curve from the cross section profile and I'm going to pick up one two three and then I want to go one here and one about here the other about here and the last one about here okay so you kind of creating this cross section there and that gives us a little bit more flat on the bottom and if it's not flat enough you can always moving up you know to make them a little bit more flat okay so now we have this let's go ahead to creating the surface by using the curve network and you're gonna pick up everybody here and then you will have this surface there so now you can keep tweaking to getting into whatever shape that you want I'm going to stop here and show you the next step notice that I have those curve over here let me turn them into the red color and you will see something like this right and I do want to create a cousin that does have what kind of a layering effect there so coming over here I'm going to creating the curve snapping into the intersection so make sure you intersect on the model on the all snap is on so I would like to make sure snapping into the intersection coming over here coming over here and go back to intersection there so that's one curve the second curve supposed to be a little bit lower than the first one so we're gonna have something like this and the third one I want to snapping into the intersection there coming out like this coming out a little bit lower coming over here back to the intersection if possible all right if not that's okay because they are not flat so I'm actually going to project to construction plane and I want to delete input there and that will make sure that you want to move the uh, point you will need to touch or go inside of the surface otherwise uh, it will be you will have a hard time to trim it later okay so I'm going to have them go like this the same thing on the very bottom one it wasn't really touching the surface I'm going to move it here all right so now we have those line here and we can make that layering effect so let's go ahead to use a sweep to rail you got rail one you got rail two cross section and you will get that piece right there all right so the same thing rail one rail two and go cross section and you get something like that and one more time rail one and rail two and go with the cross section all right I accidentally have them into the sub D surface but that's okay you, you can always have a sub D turning back to the nerve surface like this so then we'll get the surface like that you can trim whatever in the middle and join all of them together and in the render view then you'll have something like this okay so that will be the croissant the second thing is the cinnamon twist so the cinnamon twist if you just twist it and that will be fine but if you take a look on the render view like it also caving the one of the contour line there you kind of caving right and you may say well can you use that line extract the iso curve and also pipe it and bowling different it will work but it's not gonna get really smooth at the end or something like that so in this one we actually want to use the sub D in the Rhino 7 okay so that's starting from the scratch I am going to draw a profile and with the corner corner of the rectangle I'm going to snapping with the center at zero here and once I snapping in there kind of moving in then I will have a pillow shape there the reason I wanted to have a pillow shape is because anything with a four corner is just much easier to see the twist okay now one thing I wanted to show you if you just extrude it something like this for example and I also wanted to draw a line right in the middle for something like this as our center line and what happened is I can simply just using the twist and we were twisting from 
this endpoint to this endpoint and coming into the right view and I want to twist just one turn and you can see something like that this is the polish surface right now in this polish surface you can uh, keep editing if you want to turn on the control point you see how many points is there it's hard to select you know where on the peak and to recess them right so I'm going to have this one move it to the side for the comparison and then um, I don't know why am I using the green let me change to the black color it's easier for you to see all right now the next one that I would like to see is actually turn them into the sub D and in order to make them into the sub D surface this has to be a sub D curve and to make this into the sub D curve that you can coming over with the icon make curves sub D friendly all right. So the things that you wanted to do is you wanted to um, extrude it into whatever how long you want it for this one, and then if you try to let me just simply hiding this one, if you try to just twist this one without this there's no other section in the middle. I'm going to show you what happened is you snapping again snapping here and here and coming into the perspective and then you do one turn you feel like there's something's going on but there's nothing going on right it's because there's nothing in the middle for you to twist so I'm gonna coming over here and in the sub D you can actually insert the edge loop there so I'm gonna pick up this one and insert one right in the middle and I'm also going to do one more time and this time uh, both are equal yes and I want to insert somewhere in the middle there all right so I actually I divided this into four section from one section and let's do it one more time I wanted to do the twist and I'm going to pick up the entire sub D and going from an endpoint to endpoint and that's twist like this right notice that it's much much nicer and with that and don't worry about the opening we're gonna deal with that later now if you coming into if you want to pick up the peak and you can come in to use the sub D to select only the faces so I'm going to pick up the faces of this one holding the shift double click on this one now if you wanted to scale it down like this the whole thing is moving it's not cave in so it's not what we are looking for so I'm gonna do one more time click on this one holding the shift double click on this so you select the entire row right what we wanted to do is we need to create additional surface and we are actually moving that one not the, this one right here so we're gonna use the commands called inset and you want to make sure the mode is equal group and it will ask you like how much you want to inset in I'm gonna try something really small point zero five and then I want to hit it enter so then you have the extra surface coming over there right and I coming into the right view instead of 3d scale I want to do 2d scale then you can have this inset in there beautiful then if you take a look on the render view that's beautiful right continuous surface really nice over there right we're gonna do it one more time so let me show you one more time this time we want to do on the other peak I guess is this one and double click hold on the shift then you can uh, select the entire surface entire row and we want to use the command inset the mode is equal group and set it up for 0 0.05 and then coming into the right view scale to D All right beautiful then you got this one now how to close the sub D is, is only if we cannot print this one right so we need to close it and the way to close it you can use the sub D that has a fill sub D hole and you're gonna pick up the curve hit enter then you will close like this we're gonna do it one more time on the other side then we will get something like this right so if you like sub D I have a chorus 
uh, for the sub D online coming up really soon. Make sure you sign up my newsletter so you will get the early bird discount uh, once it's released. I usually have early bird discounts for only the people on my email list and you will get a huge discount only received on the emails. So today we have croissant and the cinnamon roll. I don't know which one you like to eat the most but I enjoy model this type of a form. Hope you enjoy it too. Let me know if you like it. Leave the comment below and share my video so I can reach more people. Thank you for your helping and thank you for watching. See you next.